Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Now, welcome to a new champion video. Today, we're going to be covering Milio. Uh, he's the upcoming new enchanter, kind of a glass cannon enchanter support character. And I got all the information and everything has been given to me by Riot as part of the League Partner Program. I'm invited to developer meetings from time to time. And I'm usually part of the new, new champion meetings. And this was also that case. So a few days ago, I was part of the Milio developer meeting. Uh, where a few content creators were invited to kind of get a sneak peek uh, uh, of the champion and actually talk to the developers that made him. And all the stuff that I'm being provided today, all like the videos, etc., of explaining his abilities are from also that meeting. So thank you very much to Riot for that. If you guys are excited about this, please do throw a like on the video, comment down below and subscribe if you want to see new champion stuff. Whenever a new champion comes out, I always get kind of first, one of the first dibs on it. Um, and what I would say as a celebration, we'll do a giveaway is if you are subscribed, like this video and comment down below what you think of the champion, you'll be entered to win the champion when he gets launched. I'll just gift somebody the champion. Make sure you include your summoner name and your region in the comment because obviously I need to know who to gift it to. So Milio, this is a splash up. And before we get into his abilities, just to explain, he is from the same place Kiana is from. And for a long time, Kiana has kind of had a running theory from the community that she made up where she's from. I think it's Extel, maybe. She's made it up and in her mind, and it doesn't actually exist. Well, again, Riot kind of laughed about that theory in the meeting because it does exist. He's also from there and he has a very different background to Kiana. So Kiana, I don't know if she's royalty, but she's very high up in society where uh, Milio is the opposite, but he knows who Kiana is. They've never met before, but she, he knows who she is and he looks up to Kiana. And I'm sure they're going to have some exclusive lines in game. Um, but yeah, he, he looks kind of cool. Uh, he's 12 years old, so he's one of League's youngest champions. And yeah, he's a proper kind of the way that Riot explained it back to basics glass cannon male enchanter. That's that's in essence how they pitched it. Uh, he's not a strong laner champion, like a lot of enchanters. Uh, he is more a expert of mid to end team fights. You'll see why. Uh, he doesn't work in a solo lane, so he is purely a support. Um, he is ranged, but it's a slightly lower ranged basic attack than the average support. I think the average support has 550 attack range, where Milio's got 525, uh, but you'll also see kind of why. And then also the ultimate, which I'll show in a bit, cannot be cast, cast when he is CC'd, which again is important to know. Um, so let's get into it. So the way that Riot's given me everything, it's a bit different than normal. I don't have video videos. I've got GIFs. So it is the, it is the actual stuff. So I'll be reading everything out loud and explaining it. But there's no sound, unfortunately. I did ask for videos. They just said they couldn't produce them uh, in time. So here is the passive, and obviously your first look of him actually in-game. Um, so there it is. So this is kind of how we're going to do it. Hopefully you guys don't mind too much. So the passive is called Fired Up. Milio's abilities enchant allies on touch, making their next damage deal a burst of extra damage and burn the target. Um, if you've been paying attention on Summoner's Rift at the moment, there's been these little fire emoji orb things. It's been a, an Easter egg of Milio coming because that's kind of his thing. And uh, yeah, very typical enchanter buffing your allies, just making them do a bit more damage by you hitting your abilities on them. So very standard. Again, as Riot said, is he's kind of back to basics. Um, skill ceiling was explained that he's got a low skill kind of floor, but a high skill ceiling. So most people will be able to play Milio and they'll be okay on him. But it's kind of like, the better you are, you'll get more out of him. Um, so yeah, that's kind of in essence what he's about. So let's get into the queue, which there's two um, clips of this, but here it is in essence. So this is called Ultra Mega Fire Kick, um, which sounds kind of nuts. But this is Emilio kicks a ball that knocks back an enemy. Uh, the ball launches upward on the hit and falls uh, towards the enemy. Uh, damaging and slowing enemies in the area upon impact. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is pretty much his only damaging ability. Uh, it does have quite a, a high AP ratio, um, roughly. And again, this is subject to change. I think they said it was like a 0.9% ratio. 
And that's kind of where some people are like, oh, I'm going to take him mid lane. It's his only damaging ability. It also doesn't do a lot of damage. Um, and yeah, you're not really supposed to max this ability either. Just to say in lane phase, I think the strategy mainly is about maxing the E, I think, and then W. But you might put a, an early point, obviously, into Q, probably have Q at level one, and then you'll kind of not touch it. Uh, and then the second clip for it is when in, uh, minions are included. Uh, as you can see, there's kind of like the AoE that's going on. So just to give you, it does do AoE damage. Um, so it will also affect minions and all of that stuff. So that's his Q. Uh, moving on to his W, uh, which is Cozy Campfire. So Cozy Campfire is Milio creates an empowering zone that heals allies and, and this is the big part, increases attack range for those inside and yes you did hear that correct increases attack range and i have a few more elements to kind of discuss about this ability because some people already probably are like what about this use case i probably have some of the answers uh, but then the zone by the way uh, follows the ally nearest to the cast point so primarily this is an ability you'll want to use on high damage ad champions really for their auto attack so if you cast it close to your caitlin but there's also an udir next door but you're it's closer to the caitlin it will follow the caitlin around so the use cases for this just to explain um so obviously very powerful ability to give especially ad carries higher range does this stack with also other attack range things yes it does so the use case that they gave in the developer meeting was Cogmore. Cogmore W already increases his attack range. Does then this further that attack range? Yes, it does. Would if I, for example, if you have a, an RFC and you get that occasional longer range auto attack and you put W on when they had that available, would it then also increase that range? Yes, it would. So this is a attack range steroid that I also can say is percentage based. So it is higher value for higher attack range champions. So for Milio, even in when you're thinking of his lane pairings, he is going to be more effective with a Caitlyn or a late game Tristana or something of that nature than a Draven or something that has a low attack range. Or they, you know, the, the example like Tristana, Tristana starts the game with low attack range, and then it naturally over time when she levels becomes one of the highest attack ranges. So Milio would only get stronger with Tristana because, because it's percentage based, they're gaining more attack range because naturally their attack range is higher. So that is something that is worth knowing already about your lane pairings. He works really well with longer range AD carries. And then his, uh, and by the way, this is a, alternate is his recast you can recast it so you can see here he's cast w on himself but then he actually wants it to go over to caitlin you can recast it while it's up kind of like victor ult and it will then go follow the caitlin instead so that is a nice little thing as well good already for like quality of life change so there's that next we're going to get into his e which is called warm hugs so as you can kind of see already it's quite strong but like nice it's very again base enchantery not and it's also worth knowing which i will say is a bit of breath of a fresh air for me notice how i'm not reading out insane paragraphs here it's usually a sentence maybe two most champions in the last two years they get like four five six sentences per ability milio has like one or two sentences per ability it's, it's a lot more basic but that's not a bad thing so this is very simple. Milio tosses a shield to an ally, or obviously including himself. You can see the range of it is quite big. Temporarily increasing their movement speed. So you are giving your allies movement speed. You are giving them a shield. You can also see it's stacking as well. And I presume the movement speed is also stacking. Um, so this is kind of, you already can see what's going to happen. You'll cast E on somebody, gives their movement speed, and they kind of your AD carry can run someone down. And then you cast W on them giving them higher attack range it's going to be really hard to get away from ad carries that have a milio supporting that ad carry so that's really nice so it kind of goes really well and then the ultimate which is called breath of life now this is where some people might be like what so yeah did you just see what happened there <laughs> 
Um, so this is the only ability that I think some people are going to be like, oh, snap. And I don't mind this. You can kind of already see what's going on. Because the rest of his kit is pretty basic. It, 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 I'd say his kit is basic. It has strong fundamentals in it, but nothing is crazy, crazy. You know, that's the nice thing. So Breath of Life is Emilio unleashes a wave of soothing flames that heal and remove crowd control effects from allies in its range. So yes, Milio re gets rid of crowd control effects on anyone that's in this. So again, if you're in the middle of a team fight as Milio, and three people get CC'd by something, and Milio doesn't, and he ults, boom, their CC's now done. And that's what I said at the beginning of this video, is if he is CC'd, he cannot cast this. So Milio is going to be, especially in mid to late game, as you'd probably expect, quite a focused target for team fights because if you CC him, he cannot free others. So focusing him is going to be very effective. So I'm pretty, I don't know, excited. I don't know if that's the right word, but I think Milio is going to be a relatively healthy champion. I don't see him as overpowered. Um, I think his kit is very modern and very nice, but not it doesn't go over the line. And which is really nice to me, I see him in League. I know that's going to sound really weird, but he blends in really well with the game. He doesn't, he's not introducing a brand new mechanic that's just completely bonkers, right? Like there's nothing in this kit that you're just a bit like, oh God, everything practically in his kit already exists in League in one form or another. And it's just kind of putting all of those things together in one champion. We have CC removal, you know, we've got, you know, not probably at this scale, but this is his big main thing. But we have obviously AD carries or anyone can buy quick silver sash or silver, whatever the hell, Dawn. Uh, AD uh, supports can already buy Mikhail's to, I think it's Mikhail's to free CC. His USP, if you will, his unique selling point, you know, he's a healing champion, sure, like Soraka, but Soraka can heal globally. He can't do that. But in a big team fight, he can get rid of CC on everybody. Soraka can't do that. That's his thing. So I actually think he's really cool. Um, I obviously do play support from time to time. And typically my Enchanter support has always been Renata, a more modern support. But I could, I actually could see me playing him. I'm not kidding. I actually quite like the idea of his playstyle. Um, not the best laner. So that's the only thing I'd have to get a bit used to because I do like lane phase. But I actually think he's quite cool. So that is Milio. Let me know what you guys think. Again, not that overly complicated at all. Um, and yeah, I just think he is a good addition to League, dare I say. Um, and just to say as a little synopsis of a paragraph of everything, is Milio uses his mastery of healing fire to create an eternal flame, which he keeps burning in his Ferna Fernacita, which I guess is the big backpack thing uh, a backpack of his own making milio's flame of course takes the shape as a cube anthrom anthropomorphic i can't say that word fire that he calls his fuemingo uh, he is able uh, he is also able to pull smaller little fires from his backpack and use them as an extension of his magic because milio has no formal training his expression of fire axiom is less rigid than someone with formal training like Kiana. And because he's so far from home, he imbues each of his fires with aspects of his family members' personalities, even talking to them. So that's kind of what he's about. So I would say he's pretty cool. Uh, I like the idea of him. And I don't think he's going to be like some new champions in the league. They absolutely shock the game and then they're just kind of the thing for the next few weeks, months, etc. I don't think he's going to be that. I think he'll be popular, but I think he blends in. I think he's a nice addition. And it's actually quite refreshing to say that because a lot of new champions come about and you're like, oh God, this is going to be a mess. I don't think he's going to be a mess. I don't. Um, so yeah. And Riot, by the way, is pitching him to be obviously both a solo queue and a pro play champion. But even the guy that made him, the lead dev that was doing his gameplay, and he was the one that said it, he doesn't want this champion to just end up in what he called pro jail, pro play jail. What's pro play jail? Pro plays play a champion so much that they actually have to end up nerfing it because pro play likes it too much, and then you never get to play it because then it's either too weak or it's permanently banned out. 
he doesn't want him to become pro pro play jail champion so that was quite nice to hear as well um but there we go that is the new champion that is milio um if you guys obviously are excited about him please do throw a like on the video comment again what do you think of the champion do you agree with me that he seems actually quite a good addition or is there something in here that you're like oh my god this is the worst thing in the world uh, it's also worth knowing obviously the little individual things of like ratios and stuff we don't have information yet and some people may already be like with his ultimate what what crowd control do if four people get knocked up by Malphite ultimate when you ult as him would they all come to the ground instantly and then you're fine I don't know I honestly I have no idea what actual crowd control counts I imagine all the standard ones let's say like a a Quicksilver Sash or a Mikhail's whatever they work on i'd imagine milio's ult will do because that's his thing he removes cc but we'll see but anyway that's gonna be it if you guys did enjoy do throw a like on it, like on it comment sub and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time goodbye Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace restore our glory to live forever bring down the dark regime Eternal